cosmetic surgery in the U.S. is a $12 billion a year business. And make no mistake, it is a business. The number of doctors and clinics catering to patients wanting to improve or change their looks is growing. This hasn't stopped, however, plenty of Americans from going outside the country looking for bargains. Tonight, we kick off our special series, How Far Would You Go?, with a look at what some people are willing to do for beauty. Here's CNN's Ed Lavendera. Good. Super tight. Good. Her hard work in the gym has kept Susan Whitcraft as fit as a woman half her age. But at 50, she desperately wanted her face to match her figure. And my face to me now looks kind of tired. My neck is saying, I've got stags under my eyes. It doesn't quite match how I feel inside. And I want my face to reflect how I feel. Frustrated by U.S. prices for plastic surgery, Susan joined the 100,000 people living in the United States who travel south of the border each year looking for deals. For roughly a third of the cost, they can come here and rest, recuperate, luxuriate in this magnificent uh, place and uh, fly home and nobody will ever know. Susan paid Facelift Mexico $6,500 for a surgery and a spa vacation at Casa Verde in San Miguel de Allende. She came in looking like this and left like this. This hospital is not too fancy like in Beverly Hills or New York. But the level of the surgery is the same. Some extra skin. His patient, Susan Whitcraft, showed CNN pictures that show the success of her low-cost Mexican surgery and said she's happy that finally she has a face that matches her body. Ed Lavendera, CNN, Miami.